Hi, welcome to my channel. I figured I'd do a video on actually my um, 3D printer as well as the heated chamber. The chamber is actually insulated with the corrugated plastic at this point, as you can see on the inside. I was just insulated with uh, cork before, but I was getting a lot of losses through the uh, aluminum skin and the cork was very thin to insulate this thing. So I figured I'd show you guys what I do to prepare and how the heated chamber is built, so on and so forth. Um, first things first, this is the controller for the heated chamber. I have it set at 50C and uh, right now it just kicked on. And uh, the controller really is just a 12 volt uh, thermostat. It kicks on as soon as the printer gets turned on and it takes about two minutes or so to actually kick on. The next thing up is the actual heater. I'm using one of these automotive heaters. You can barely see over here. As you can tell, it's just an automotive heater that's been screwed to the top. It pushes out hot air and uh, this thermostat has the sensor right here. It's halfway through the actual printer. I found out that um, the sensor being halfway through, it was uh, all the heat was gathering to the top, which is normal because heat rises. So by the time the temperature made it over here, it was like half an hour into the print or so, and uh, that wasn't acceptable. So what I did was I installed a constant on 12 volt fan, which I'm about to show you guys right here. I 3D printed some uh, studs over here and uh, the fan just pushes out all the hot air down. The other thing that I do is um, I use ABS goop religiously. I've tried the tape and it's been a pain in the butt to remove prints from the actual tape or the tape from the actual prints because my prints tend to stick so well to the tape that I have to actually sand the tape off and there's no way to remove it. It's not like PLA. I haven't tried glue yet, but I don't think I will. As one of the techniques that I kind of developed over time is um, I applied the uh, ABS goop onto the bed when it's over 70 Celsius. Right now the bed is sitting at 30. I'm going to hit prepare, preheat for ABS, which is going to give me. 100 C on the bed, 245 on the nozzle here and uh, one of the other questions was is uh, the hot end getting enough cool air? Even at 50 C the hot end is not clogging because it's getting stuck anything basically there's absolutely no effect to it so we're we're in good shape there. So far at 50C, that's as high as I've gone. I may go higher, but at the moment I really don't have the need. 50C is enough to um, prevent warping, really. And uh, some of the parts that I've printed have been pretty much warp-free. This is uh, what I printed last night. And it's uh, basically a box for my nozzles, right? And there is no light gap on there. Uh, I barely did a scuffing on top of it because I don't want it to. I'm going to polish this with uh, acetone, but that's the box. And I have my 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 uh, damaged nozzles here and a 1 mil nozzle here. So, with that said, uh, I've been pretty happy with the results so far. So, as soon as the bed heats up to about 70C or so, I'll show you um, 
how I uh, apply the ABS goop. And yes, uh, people have said, oh, I'm applying it with, with a trough or whatever. And the thing is, uh, in that manner, I can get perfect stiction to the print bed without any real issues. Uh, the only problem with that kind of stiction is I gotta wait until the bed is cooled down enough, which we're talking about 50, 60 C, before I can remove a print. Uh, simply put, because it's it's sticking very well. This bed over here has had more than its share of uh, prints. It's just a mirror. It's not uh, borosilicate glass, it's actually float glass, I suppose, with a beveled edge. So it's, it's held up quite well. And uh, another question I got was, uh, does the heated chamber temperature affect the neodymium magnets that are uh, setting off the sensors? And my answer to that is, I really, I suspect not, but... I can't really prove it a hundred percent because uh, when I did the leveling of this I brought everything up to temperature and when you bring everything up to temperature it's you know you're eliminating variables I don't print very cold anyway um, I believe the starting temperature for my 3d printer at least for ABS is uh, 240 I printed as hot as 260 Celsius with this with experimentation up to 280 and it will do 300 as well so uh, I'm not sure how things are gonna go uh, one more thing there's um, on this end effector here there's an aluminum plate on top of the aluminum plate there's a small uh, bit of uh, tape and this is a uh, heat resistant tape I got this from a friend of my dad's he also he gave me a roll of this stuff and what I did was I literally laid it next to each other glued it onto the piece of aluminum and it's just a piece of aluminum sheet that I sanded on both sides and put the tape on there to prevent warping of the end effector so far the end effector has been nice and straight so I haven't had a problem with that either uh, and it looks like the bed went into 80 Celsius already. Let me auto home this. So what I'm printing today is a cell phone uh, holder for my brother-in-law. I figured uh, he wanted another one because I printed one for him before. And his roommates basically keep stealing it. So, I figured what the heck, I'll print him another one. It's not like it's costing me much. Right now I'm using a Micro Center ABS plastic. I've been very happy with that stuff. I mainly use the black ABS plastic. But this is what happens when you apply it hot. You get a thin, somewhat gray area. on the print bed and that ensures very good stiction and uh, I mean it's only about 0.1 mil thick stuff so it's not like I'm applying a hell of a lot of it it's just it ensures better stiction to the bed and uh, it will actually allow the nozzle to dig in I'm gonna experiment with uh, flexible filaments and I'm planning on using this technique as well to print directly on top of ABS. This will give me enough stiction hopefully to keep that stuff from warping. And uh, I guess we'll see, there will be review videos coming up, but for now I feel like I've completed my uh, heated chamber which has been a long time coming and uh, you know worked out the bugs well here's the printer doing its job 
I, I have to say I'm pretty happy. This is the first layer, so it's only moving at about 70 mil a second at maximum. So, and I have the acceleration set to about 4,000. With something this volume, that's not bad at all. Um, the device I'm printing that's about 150 mil for reference. So it's not a small printer by all means. Uh, the heated chamber is working nicely and uh, I'm very happy so if you have any comments suggestions discussions subscribe below comment below share this if you think somebody else may be interested helps me out a bunch see you on the next video be well